Okay, so I just centered this ball of clay for um, another video about centering. I figured, what am I gonna do with it? Um, I'm at a loss. So I am actually going to make a, hmm, make a bottle. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna do more of like a jug sort of bottle, not necessarily a round genie bottle. I care more about teaching you guys about the, um, coloring of the spout. So I'm going to go with the cylinder bottom. So I'm going to open up with that square. I'm going to take one of my thumbs. I mean, I'm going to push gently. I'm using um, 240 No G uh, from Standard. It's uh, a white clay, grogless. It does have grog. Everything has grog, but it doesn't have those little bits. So it makes it pretty pleasant to center, a little harder to throw big, a little harder to trim for beginners. Uh, I find it doesn't have the grog to hold on to that, um, the basic trimming tool. So you kind of need a better one. I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna pull straight towards me, open it up. A little blip in there because I realized I didn't have my sponge. Get water the in, rid, rid of the water on the inside. Now, my clay is going straight up and I don't want it to. I want it to eventually close up. So I'm gonna take my heel of my hand I'm gonna take the palm of my hand and I'm just gonna sort of push that in a little and sort of wrap my hand on top. Sort of like a claw motion. I'm pushing here and then I'm guiding the clay. What that's gonna do is sort of tell the clay that eventually it's gonna be closed off. So I'm gonna go up on here and I'm gonna care about my cylinder bottom first. I'm gonna start to pull, hands attached, elbows on my legs looking at the outside, not the inside, not making a thin lip. Oh, this is covered in my other videos. And I'm gonna shush. Go down here again. Again, my main concentration right now is to get that bottom part, the bottom form of my bottle. It's okay for me to be a little thinner on the top because I'm, um, I'm gonna collar that in. So some people take their foot off the pedal. I don't suggest it. As you start to get to know your clay, you're gonna notice that you're gonna slow down. It's gonna be instinctual. When you need to do a little bit more in one part of it, you'll notice that you're gonna slow your wheel down a little. It's almost like you're playing a record and your favorite line of the song comes on, so you wanna really listen to it. Same thing when you're starting to pull. If I needed to do a little bit more work down here, I'm gonna slow down a little so that it can really make sure I'm getting the work I need done on that and then when it's a little less necessary I'll actually speed it up. Now this whole collaring thing is super important to have your foot on the pedal because um, you're going to need to really speed up. Remember you want to move your hand every time it revolves around once so if it's a narrow piece like that it's less time to go around so you can have to move your hand faster so you might as well make your wheel move faster as well. So now I want to actually close this up and I'm gonna get the water out. Now, if I take this four inch wide clay and I turn it into a one inch wide piece, I'm gaining a lot of clay. So you may think you want your, your um, bottleneck to start here and go to here, but with double the amount of clay, it's gonna end up up here. And then we got that halvesies thing, which isn't very attractive. So you wanna account for the fact that this much clay is gonna double your height. So if I make this go out to here, it's gonna be this high. It's hard, I'm not sure if you can explain it, if I can explain it any better other than try it yourself and you'll see um, what actually happens. So how do I collar? I collar with six points. I collar with my thumbs, this knuckle, space between these two knuckles, and these fingers. Six points, thumbs touching, all on the same plane, meaning they're all lined up. Hands are, clay is super wet, I start down on the bottom, elbows locked in. I start down here because I'm doing nothing to that part and now I'm gonna start to really start to squeeze in here and come gently off. So you see I've sort of insinuated to the clay where that neck's gonna be. Throw some water on there again. I'm gonna start to go up, fix that sort of bulge that happened there. And now I'm gonna close up those fingers, but I don't wanna stay in one spot. Because if I stay in one spot, remember, then you're sanding away the clay and we don't want that to happen. So now that I've taken the clay from all the way out here to in here, this is now thicker than it is down here. So now I wanna do what I call the micro pull. I'm just gonna pull with my fingers. And I'm gonna start all the way at the bottom. 
I'm not doing much on the bottom, just sort of straightening it out. And now it starts to get thick. So I'm gonna do a little bit more and watch the height that I'm getting from thinning that out. I'm gonna go down here again, wet the clay, speed up my wheel a little bit. No work, no work, no work, no work. Super duper work until my fingers come off. And I'm gonna go down, I'm slowed the wheel down a little. I'm not sure if you can hear the sound of my wheel, but. And right here where I started to sort of collar, I'm gonna micro pull here because it started to get thick. A lot of people wonder why it starts to droop over here. Usually because this is so concentrated of clay from you compressing that it, it the walls over here can't handle the um, heaviness of it. So now at this point, before I sort of close this up, I wanna make sure I've got a sponge on a stick, I wanna get the water out of the inside, or I wanna gently pick this up and flip it over. Either way, I got some water in there, but I don't have a sponge on a stick. If I wanted to, I could probably get my hand in there, but it's not worth it. All right, get down here again. I'm gonna to start to speed up a little bit. I'm gonna to start to collar, 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 until I get to the top. And then I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna thin that out. Got a little bit of an uneven collar there. A little bit of a twist too, because my finger dragged. So I'm just basically gonna cut that off. I only give my pot a haircut when I'm thin. There's no reason to do it when it's super thick. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead with my finger and just sort of redirect that clay. Now I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. So there's a little bit of a twist there. Why does that happen? Um, your hands usually doesn't move fast enough so it gets a little caught on the clay and it drags it. Is there a way to fix that? I'm not gonna lie, not really. It's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be that sort of weak spot. So you just gotta pay attention to it. It's like that bad leg you have or that back pain that you have that you have to pay attention to whenever you're, I don't know, in Disney or something. So you can see that twist is always gonna be there. Now remember, you may want a really narrow, um, skinny bottleneck, but remember it's gonna shrink. So if, if it's the desired opening now, um, it's gonna be way too thin or way too narrow later. So you'll only be able to get a very thin piece of something in there, I don't know, baby's breath or something. You really want to finish off that bottle lip too. So maybe bottle. So maybe you flip it over a little bit. You don't want it too thin, right? You don't want it to chip. Sometimes to hide that twist, I'll just stick my nail in there and create a little bit of a linear design that distracts you from that sort of thing that you got going on there. I'm just gonna straighten up my side a little bit with my trusty cheap middle grip here. Just have to clean up my edge a little bit. And let's find my wood tool. Take off some of this excess down here. I really wanted to pay attention to the top so I wasn't as concerned. I'm not gonna lie, I don't keep a lot of my demo pieces for my YouTube videos. I kind of want to pay attention to what I want to teach and then I don't pay attention as much to the rest and then this will usually sit here for a few days before I decide to dump it. All right, so as you can see, I sort of collared with my fingers put together and then I tightened up. Now a lot of people may turn around and take their hands off here and that's gonna cause it to wonk. So what I do is as I'm pulling, I kind of pretend that I'm putting a card on the top of a house of cards and I slowly take it off. That's pretty much it. 
Um, I, I kind of like the proportion. I like that it's one third and two thirds. Um, I'm kind of kind of cool with this shape. It's something that I would probably hashtag carve the shit out of. And we will have to see. So there you go. Remember, collar wet, collar fast. Good luck.